Crouch. Bind. Set. Joe presents the House of Rugby, together with Guinness. All aboard. The latest edition of House of Rugby brought to you by Joe. Welcome to Joe. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a good start. Together with our friends at Guinness, start. I'm Alex Payne, a respected rugby <laughs> union broadcaster. Once upon a time. <laughs> According to who? <laughs> Alongside James Haskell, <laughs> and I have to read this out, a very special guest. A man who's played 59 times for England so far. What do you mean? Uh, toured with the British and Irish Lions. Could be back. And then. still currently playing for Harlequins. Welcome to you, Joe Marler. Thank you, Alex. It's lovely to have you aboard. Pleasure you? to be here. What's the breaking news in your world today? I'm giving you nothing. Okay. <laughs> it's not the point of you being on here. Oh, right. You what can't you just want? go on giving you nothing. Oh, I'll give you oh, what's something. What's happened? How's the caravan? Oh, there we go. And we're, up and, and we're up and running. <laughs> you know, you really got view, this, is, this is not just um, voice. Where are the people? Well, they could be anywhere. They're on the other side of the camera. We're the, we're the biggest sport. We were the biggest What's sport. What's most sport disappointing sport is that this isn't a real house. I thought this was at yours. We're moving, in, we're moving into a really? real house quite soon. You know, we're talking about the camera. Because so, if you want to know about your life, we, we've, I follow you on Instagram to know about the trials and tribulations of A, the caravan, but B, the leaf blower. Mm. Why have you always got a leaf blower in your hand? Keep the missus on her toes. <laughs> no? Well, do you... Do you Chase around the house, yeah. getting she to watches, do stuff. Watches, yeah. yeah. She's fucking not happy with it. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. She's Every not day. happy with it, honestly, <laughs> mate. And the kids, they half like it, but like then they get scared, especially like when I carry on and they can't breathe. They're like... <laughs> My favourite oh, was... Daddy! And I'm like, yeah. He good. does it every... Follow us. You follow it on, on, on his Instagram. I do. I, I've, do I've just you? joined, yeah. I don't, I don't clock in regularly, but I will look for the... What was the last picture. time he clocked in 1985? Like, he, that's all he does every day. He's literally blow... That's well, not true. I want to say he's blowing in people's faces every day, but... That's probably inappropriate. It's not true. I don't do it every day. I, I pick and choose. You can't give it too much, otherwise it gets boring. Yeah. If you do too much all the time, <laughs> it's the same. It's relentless. It's the same shit all the time. And you're like, fuck, can, he's everywhere. I mean, the leaf blower's everywhere. He's on fucking loose women. He's on this shit. Can you, it's can too you, much. You've got to hold it back Can you mute people on Instagram so you don't see their feed, but they don't know that you're not following them anymore. I haven't looked into that. No, you you like banning you do people. Don't, you like you don't like trolls, so you nah, block them. I don't block you? everyone. So can you? Do I don't want to block these people. Just unfollow me if you're upset. Okay. You don't have to follow me. I, I literally, I, I, I can lose one follower. I'm not going to lose sleep with your. I, I like following. Well, then, you. I well, feel then don't insinuate. That I, like I was. I was I it was a genuine stories. question. Mm. <clears throat> that um, last week didn't start as we were wanting. You're already in, you're on a sticky wicket. Why a cricket oh. one? Because he knows that sticky wicket, eh? And that's not a second. Were you, were you genuinely <laughs> irritated last week, or were we just playing to the camera? I've, playing to the camera. Okay, good, perfect. I've, I've what just have I ever it. been angry with you on anything? What the hell? You literally <laughs> walked in. <laughs> you walked into the poshest posh fest ever. I love last it. week. No, no, you and me. I, he's he couldn't be any more. I'm very surprised you let me. But it's nice to get a little contrast. It, he, on his highlight is microwave mussels from his local pub. How do you know that? Because <laughs> you told, told me. <laughs> what is microwave mussels? What the fuck do you think microwave mussels are? They take a plate of sh mic mussels that are supposed to be steamed. You normally have them in a white wine and garlic sauce. No, 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 right? It's a jus, darling. A jus. <laughs> white wine and garlic sauce. And at his pub, they put them in a microwave. That's like a death it's trap. It's not my pub. It's a pub. Right. He says his pub I would is... Never, I would never microwave more marinier. <laughs> don't, don't hit him. Don't, don't hit him. He doesn't understand what you just said to him. You think, you th it's quite interesting looking at the wide angle of this. Put the wide angle back up. Yeah. What we're it's at? a little bit like Darwin's theory of evolution, isn't it? You go from one to the, to the more yeah. developed version to the fully developed version, don't you? Oh, you've it's got a well, voice, haven't it's, you? It's like Darwinism if he was on a sort of a really crash diet. Like unit, medium unit, skinny, fully developed, skinny schoolboy, prototype, bloke, bloke from Philadelphia. Yeah. Oh, good reference. Well, you have to explain. I don't mean Denzel Washington. No, no, he means Tom Hanks. Yeah. Is that an age? Or the, I tell you who you're more like. That. No. It wasn't a cag, mate. <laughs> what, I said you look like someone. Tell you what it's what? more like. You like you like Christian Bale. Don't row back. Don't row back on your challenging humour. My he's, what? He's the, you're the machinist. Rogue back. Christian Bale, the machinist. Row Rogue back. Yeah. Brilliant. Can't, you can't think of any like normal sports. Can we get a translator in so that Joe and I can actually communicate? Be, it has to be upper class sports as your reference, doesn't it? Yeah. Don't row back, darling. Yeah. Down the bloody Henley Thames. Um, you're the machinist, Christian Bale. Okay. Oh. When he's. Um, 
<laughs> yeah. What a start. I, we're off and running this mm. week. Um, do you want to just fill the nice people in about what you've been doing? Last week it was Bella Magazine. This week, I understand you've been on something called ITV's Small Fortune. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Is there nothing you will not do? No. Where would, you draw the li- where would you draw the line? If, if Dancing on Ice or Celebrity Show Jumping on I, Channel that, 5 I'm came to you I'm waiting for it. I'm sorry said, that you're meant to answer this question, but I am waiting for... I'm a Celebrity <laughs> is one of my favourite shows. Honestly, it is one of my favourite shows. Would you it's go on it? It's a show on would ITV on? and it's right. got loads of... What do you do? Would you go on it? <laughs> you think he has no, 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 I'm waiting for this man. Are you going to go on it? Because it'll be gold. How many times have they asked you? <sighs> it's a possibility. Yes. We haven't asked twice already. What? <laughs> Would you be that excited? Make it happen. Make it happen. I just don't think... I'd worry you get done for bullying. I don't think myself, Why? live cameras, is a good idea. Do you not think? I just think it's a bit... Yeah, I, well, I don't that's, know. Why, that's why you have to pre-record this. Yeah, I think, I think you know, I, I, there's no point asking me on any of those dancing shows because I can't... Right. I'm just terrible at dancing. I'm not really built for dancing. SAS Who Does Wins? Yeah, I could do that, I think. Pardon? SAS Who Dares Wins, that programme? What do you mean, yes, I can do that? I could probably do SAS Who Dares Wins. I can hear Cy going, zero chance. <laughs> He's such a rat. <laughs> we can hear you. Your horrible voice travels, you bastard. Of you course I can do it. Bastard. bastard. What would you do? What? Bargain hunt. Rogue traders. Badly Rogue pat- traders. Badly patio driveways and stuff like that. <laughs> can you hear Cy? <laughs> what would you do? With what? What's the question? Oh, Jesus what fucking would I do Christ. What reality TV thing would you do? trying to spark a conversation. Yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah, idea yeah, of the show yeah. is that we but chat, you've got it's to amicable. ask a question. <laughs> Your question you is had, so general. What would you do? If you had what to do you go, mean? If you had to go on a celebrity television programme, Joe, yeah. comma, which one would it be? I so, would question mark. really love... Thank you. I would love Big Brother. Yeah. I think you would... The problem with it being there is that with you, and we'll probably come on to that, is that you never know what you're going to get in the morning. <laughs> You know, like, like, sometimes you wake up and I'll talk, say we were in England camp and I'll see you by the buffet and I'll, and I'll be like, Joe, well, what do you want to call a spread of food? What, a trough or something? I what? definitely don't want to call it a buffet. <laughs> Fine. Well, the well, buffet. And um, I go up to Joe and I go, Joe, how are you? Fuck off, Hask. <laughs> right? That, that'll be one morning. Next, mate, I'm like, Joe, how are you? And you like tap me on the shoulder and go, good, mate, how are you? And I'm like, right, fine. You just never know what you're going to get. So in Big Brother, one day you could wake up and you yeah, be charming. Yeah, but James, have you never thought that that's possibly a defensive mechanism because I've been hurt so many times in my life that I then don't want to get people too close to me? So I am then make them on edge <laughs> rather than vice versa. Credit where credit's due. He is good. He is very, he is I mean? very good. It's 100 miles an hour. It's 0 miles an hour. It's but the best break, is- accelerate, accelerate, <laughs> <Yeah>. break. <laughs> But that's what you don't. That's what I don't understand. I can I, I, to this entire time. I'm still not sure. We're like. I'm like. I think we're really good friends. I'm like. I love Joe Marley. It's like. Not what he was saying before you arrived. No, but that's what I mean. But I can't get. I can't work him out. I literally can't work him out. And then I don't think coaches can work you out. That's my favourite thing as well. Because they'll do that. They'll go stop. Go loads. Interested. Completely disinterested. Blow the whole place up. Undermine everything. Then rebuild it. Have you got a love bite on your neck? Yeah. What? Yeah. Look. How old are you? Right. Can I just explain this? I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> I have to say you and me both. <laughs> what? Not doing the show or friendship anymore? I, Possibly the lot. I, what? No, so with that, with that situation, I had this exact conversation with Chloe. <laughs> I, was in book re- I was in bed reading a book, right? Spot goes to the circus. And, um, <laughs> with, like, the <laughs> with the flaps? With the flaps. <laughs> Where's Spot Wait, hiding? I, I, I had them fi- one of those finger Where's puzzle the ones. Ball? <laughs> I know the story. <laughs> yeah. It goes in the pond, there's a duck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I was reading through that. Yeah. And um, so and my, my wife dives on top of me, <laughs> right? And, uh, and I put the book around, I was reading the book, not concentrating. <laughs> she started kissing my neck. And then I suddenly got sharp pain. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? And she went, I gave you a hickey. I was like, why? I've never, I've never had one in my entire life. I don't engage in this thing. And she found it hysterical. Went into to, to Saints. First thing they said, why have you got a love bite? I was like... Why did she go into Saints? No, she didn't go into Saints. Oh. I went into Saints. Mm. And, and, and it was just bizarre. I don't really know what to say. I just want to apologise. I can't be so responsible who? for her. You and me both. I apologise to everyone. To you. To say. If you're into that, yeah. you're no, into I'm not. that. I'm not into it. Oh, well, hang on. First of all, <laughs> congratulations. Oh, thank you. You're a married man now. Thank you. How was it? Where'd you Where'd you go? Uh, we did a. Uh, we didn't have a honeymoon. We did a small one in, in local church. Cheers. No, there's, there's a big one coming. <laughs> Is there? Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, you'll get a nod, don't worry. I see you on the stag do, how uncomfortable I can make you on the stag do. Like Dozer and all the rest of us, you and them, that outfit going, sorry, so you can't come into this club at Ibiza. Fuck <laughs> I'll stand out here then. You want me to work the door so tonight? <laughs> oh, you'd be like that, wouldn't you? Yeah, if I get paid. Sorry. Um, We've gone off on a tangent. Coming up on the show. What? God knows what. Surely we're, we're fucking going- finishing in a minute, <laughs> mate. I you know, producer size literally doing- just whispered me and said, good luck with the rest of this, mate. <laughs> Hang on, it's fun. I've got to go Coming home. up on this week's show, we're going to reflect on the career of Mr. Joe Marler. We're going to look ahead to what could well be a Six Nations decider between where... We do this every week and we never talk about any of it. What? We never talk about any of the things on our menu. We're going to talk about Wales against England, which apparently is taking place in Cardiff this weekend. We've had a limerick sent in by a reader. A listener. Because <laughs> actually there's nothing to read. And James and Joe are going to attempt this week's perfect pour, courtesy of a Hollywood actor's 15. Yeah, I fucking did it. Yeah, have you? I did that. I did eight. <laughs> <laughs> That's just worse not doing it. And then it says, it actually says on the script, God help us all. So they've preempted. I don't, uh, where you we're know, with go. the greatest respect, I'd rather not be involved in that last sentence. God help us all. I Why? don't want to offend anyone, but. Okay. I also. God don't. help us all, Barjo. Correct. Okay. Don't need his help. Um, you got the lucky Heather. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I should laugh at my own jokes, but it was too good. Oh, excellent. Oh, shit. There's a lot of spit. Like. Sorry. And dribble. Look at the size of these teeth. It's um, not... Yeah, I need to speak to you about your teeth. Not on here. All right. What do you want to talk to him about his teeth for? I want to know if I take him out and rinse under his hat at night. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they permanently stay in. <laughs> what do you want to talk about? You're, I don't care. You, you you've got it the menu. Cause, cause you, I know, but it doesn't really matter what I, I ask. Because it, it does. You need some sort of structure. No, no, to okay. Come some on. Structure Come we need on. Structure. You, so, is this your here. first rodeo? Come on. Okay. Joe Marlow. You retired internationally last year, aged just 28. With this game against Wales just a few days away with the World Cup on the horizon, do you regret your decision? No. You make your choices. You live by them, don't you? If Eddie Jones comes to you pre-World Cup and says, I need you, what would you say? Like what for? To come to <laughs> the, the world. driveway? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> what I need do you need a, me for? I need another prop to take with me to Japan. What? Fuck. I ha- am I going to have to? I'm literally going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's what he does. It's what he we're does. 11 minutes in and I'm exhausted. It's what he does. It's what he does. It's his specialty. Eddie Jones says, Joe, I need you to come with me as part of my 33 man World Cup squad to take on the rest of the world at Rugby World Cup 2019. Very- it's taking place in Japan. <laughs> Will you come with me? Fucked him off now. Yeah, yeah, he's gone now. <laughs> you're he's fucking gone now. aggressive. Got, you're such you'll a- be out with dueling with a fence at fencing in a minute. <laughs> pistols. Not, not the fence. Right, right. Fucking yeah. hell, he's gone for pistols. You normally go for um, swords. You really are pistols. In a very pistol. unlikely event that Eddie comes right. to me and goes, Mate, I need you for the World Cup. We need you to come and hold a ped. Yeah. Um, and do Mecco's training. Yeah. Um, you, I don't know. You never say never, mate. Good. Have you ever? Have you spoken to him? Very since you unlikely. Reti- have you spoken to him since you retired? Yes. Not About in ra- person. Not in person. On text. On text. And he has he asked you whether you'd reconsider? No. <laughs> has he it asked was you more whether you like? <sighs> thank fuck for that, mate. <laughs> Come on. Because I was going to do it anyway. <laughs> 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 Good yeah. job you got in there first, mate. Well done. Um, nice messages. Yeah, no, we've got, we got a good rapport, but it's often not rugby related. Right. What's it um, to do with? You know, some bits. Hey. L- like, <laughs> hey. Bits. Is hey. It? So many bits. bits. So like, many like bits. what? When I say bits, yeah. it means that I'm not going to tell you what I mean. Right. I'm just going to say bits as he's, if you know what I mean. He's implying that he's a bit of a, you know, loose character, but. He's absolutely not. He's a real family man. He, d- he lives in fuck ass. Ass end of nowhere. He spends his entire in life in a car. I live in fuck ass, apparently. Yeah. You just <laughs> said. You know, it's Heathfield. It, it, it doesn't sound like fuck ass to me. He lives in the ass end of nowhere. It takes him four hours to get anywhere. So you ask him where Joe Marler is, he's normally in the car. <laughs> <laughs> That's where he is. True. It's in the car between things. Did you retire from international rugby because you found it tough being away or your family found it tough you being away? Or a little bit of both? No, I think it was very much uh, one way. And I found it tough being away. Did you? Because when it came around to like campaign time, and we're watching the game on the on the TV, or my son's looking at, it, he's like, "Where's Daddy? Why is he not there?" And also, you know, a bit like, "Why aren't you away at the moment, Daddy?" And I'm like, "What do you mean by that?" He's like, "Well, can you go away?" Oh. Oh, what do you mean? Yeah, fuck off. Oh, fast starter. Yeah. 
Yeah. But did you... <clears throat> I wanted to know this because we, we didn't talk about this. Obviously, I texted you as soon as I, I heard about oh, it. I appreciate your message. No, thank you. I, um, but I... All the time I've known you, I don't think I've ever seen you struggle. Like, I didn't think you ever struggled. You always gave 100% commitment. You always done it your style. So always that... I would sum this up as always appearing not to care, but always going hard oh, or required, I, always I, giving 100%. I, 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 never, I never saw that like, when you were in camp. I never thought, oh, you're struggling. No, when, when you're there, you're there, aren't yeah. you? You know what I mean? You buy into it, but um, it was never... I, I, mate, we had some great times. Yeah. I really enjoyed my time and some of the memories I made there, but your priorities change in life. Things happen to you in life and you reshuffle what means the most to you and what, what you need to prioritise. And for me, right now in my life, is prioritising my family and, and helping them as much as I can. I've got another one on the way in have June. You? Yeah, oh, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Another one coming in June. Little boy. Um, and, oh, you know, it's like you've got kids. Like Any time, we spoke beforehand. Yeah. You spend a lot of time away from them. You miss those moments. And it's like, well, do it, do it a couple more years. Do you know what I mean? Do it a couple more years and then you can set yourself up a little bit more. Then you can spend time. But then you already miss out on those two or three years of trying to teach him to ride a bike. Can they not I ride a bike? I still didn't teach him to ride a bike. <laughs> right. like, um, you, no, the, re- the re- <laughs> only reason I ask is just because it's one of those things. Like I was there your very first day you came into England camp with that unbelievable haircut with the jolly hog. I remember sitting no, it down. it wasn't that one. It was bright red mohawk, it wasn't was it? Stars and stripes. Stars and stripes. I remember sitting down at the table and looking at across. Bold start. And going, who is who this bloke? Is and it was a red mohawk and stars cut into the side of his head. And <laughs> Doz has just told me on, well, by the coffee machine that he'd had a fight with him in the first game. And I was like, who is this bloke? He's a complete lunatic. He looked like an absolute monster. Um, and Cheers. I, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you had dyed red mohawk and stars, like what well, you know. It's a strong statement. It is quite absolute a... monsters. A bit strong, isn't it? That's the sort of thing you'd say about Gaddafi. No, yes. whoa, depends well, what your reference of or Mugabe. It depends what your frame of reference is. Well, they're they're my references. Well, I meant Gaddafi, mo- mo- Mugabe. I meant monsters. In, I meant mo- monster in unit. Monsters. You said monster. No, no, I meant monster in unit, not like monster in you know Pol Pot is murdering a whole load of people. I didn't mean that. I <laughs> meant Pol Pot. <clears throat> one of the big. He's um from um. Is it not? Here so, we go. Who is Pol Pot? He's uh Go on, help me out. I've just made something. No, he's up. from Columbia. No, not Columbia. He was um, on fucking X Factor, you c- dickhead. C- <laughs> History. No, Pol Pot. With- <laughs> 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 he has killed a yes, lot of people. No, where are the I can't think where it is. Where is Pol Pot from? Um no, Cambodia. That's Honestly, the one. It's Cambodia. It it's Cambodia. Matter. Killed millions it of people. Genocide. Does it keep it light? Yeah, yeah Cambodia, move right? On. Wait, what but what I'm asking, point? so my point was I've seen it all the way all the way through, and I think of all your rugby, the, the stuff you're playing now or playing in that, that period of time was some of your best. And was it really hard to go, actually, I'm still getting better and I'm still doing what I do? And I know you, you joke about doing Mako's training, but you're different players, but still right up there. Was it really hard to give that up? Um, yeah, it was hard. It wasn't like a, an easy decision. I'd thought about doing it pre-South Africa tour um, when we went into camp before, so obviously we didn't make the playoffs last year. Close. Going well this year. Joint 11th. Um, but um, went into the Barbars camp, getting rid of that, and I was just like, literally like that. I was, I don't, I can't do it. I don't want to do it. I'm, I'm packing it in. And the missus, and I went home and I told Daisy this. I said, I can't do it. I'm done now. Because we'd had these fights quite a lot of whenever camp time would come up <clears throat> at home would she'd sense it it'd go a little bit like and she'd always convince me otherwise she'd be like, so, so yeah, did she didn't like want that, you to do enjoy it, it but you didn't want to do it no she didn't want you to do it N- no no right. so it, it would always she'd always convince me she'd no you'll be fine you'll love it when you get there yeah you always do we'll be fine it's fine yeah. I can I can handle it. Thanks. Yeah. Don't oh, really? You know what I, mean? I thought, it. from what I'd read, I thought it was almost like she had said to you, you need to do it. No, she's still, even, so the South Africa, I said, I'm going, she said, no, look, you can't. And I went, what do you mean? That's a bit of a different tone. She thought, well, I've already booked this holiday with <laughs> my friends <laughs> and the kids. I went, yeah. She said, but 
Yeah, it's during your it. time that you're away, so it would mean that you. I love her. Well, you she can come amazing, with if yeah. you want, yeah. <laughs> but it was like I don't really want you to come with. So yeah. go and do the tour. Yeah. See how you feel at the end of it. And then make your decision there. So I was like, right, Did so you've you know? stopped me doing it so you can still go on holiday. Sounds what a lovely, I made, what an amazing lady. I love that. And did even when I did make the decision, she went, I'm really I don't, think you're, I just, the, I don't think you're doing the right thing. I, I, when I read about it, because I hadn't talked to you about it, I remember I, I, I sent you a message and you wrote back going, yeah, interesting times, mate, I'll come back to you. So I didn't like nause you up because obviously, you know, when your mates appear in the rugby world, you kind of, you know, pass each other from time to time. But you don't get, get off, obviously get to spend a lot of time with each other. I actually came in and because I read about friends and family who wanted to say, I said to, to Chloe, you know, at some point, would you ever say to me? Because that's what I thought your wife had said to you. And she was what, like, no. Choose. Well, some do. Some it's do. the rugby or it's me. Yeah, well, some do. Some do. Some put, like, put pressure. And that's what I was thinking. That's what I thought. And I was thinking to myself going, I Hang would. Hang on. If that, if some... You shouldn't be with that person. Yes, yeah, so I'm not saying you are. Yeah, yeah, Chloe, no, no. Chloe. <laughs> you made it very Where clear to Chloe that it's I'm the so Haskell trainer. She's <laughs> off. Yeah, yeah, she's no, off. No, 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 Chloe, this no, is a brand no, love, Chloe, and it only no. works <laughs> with the rugby. No, no. no, Chloe would never, never say that. But I, I, I stupidly. Uh, I just interpreted that's what had happened. And you got basically, listen, I'm struggling with the kids or whatever. I wasn't putting words into one's mouth. I thought that's what happened. But I would then thought one day when I was like 40, I would have woken up one day and been really resentful. But it's actually really interesting to you, you, that she was saying, actually, you go and do it. Uh, I'm going to 100% support you. We don't need it. We're fine. We can. You're going to have a great time. And you were the one saying, actually, no. I didn't. I didn't know it was that way. It's it really eye opening. I didn't. Did you know? So that third test was your <laughs> last game. What? <laughs> yeah. Did you know then? Because you had a hell of a game in your uh, final uh, in your final test I'd, today. I'd pre- I had. I. Yeah, my mind had been mad. I loved that tour. I know we lost. 2-1 or whatever and you know it was a bit of a spiral from continued from the Six Nations but it was a brilliant tour um, <clears throat> the group that was there did a lot of like growing a lot of youngsters coming through and and we had a great time off the pitch as well but um, I'd kind of made my mind up then and uh, to actually see out the final game and finish it off with 80 minutes because you, you like, looked yeah, I'll, I'll emotional and shat- I, I mean none done. of us knew at the end yeah but- I, was, I was done there I remember. Were you emotional? <laughs> Obviously not. I um, it was about fifty. Yeah, I don't know. Shall I say? Yes. Yeah, can yeah. I say this story? Yeah, yeah. Of course you can. Yeah, sure. Um, why not? He's going to get in trouble now. Yeah. Well, don't go too mad. No, I'm not going mad. No. And uh, it was about fifty or sixty minutes in the last test, and Wisey Scott Wisemantle came on, and he was like, "Mate, the boss says you've got five more minutes," <laughs> and I went, "Wisey, you can tell him get fucked." <laughs> <laughs> see, he was like, uh, no, I'm not going to do that, Joe. And then he ran off with the waters. So he carried on uh, about another 10 minutes went. And he came back on and said, boss is right. Last effort, mate. Last couple of minutes. I said, why is he? Honestly, you've got the mic on now. Tell the boss, get fucked. I'm staying on, mate. We're seeing this fucking job out. And why is like, Okay, so I'm going to have to... You're serious, aren't you? And he was like... I don't know whether he actually did or not, but he must have, because he walked off, did that, bro. walked off. And I was like, fine. I was shattered. Yeah. Uh, brilliant. Finished to the game. Done. Made my decision. We were in the after-match function bit, and I'm sat there on one of the stools with a couple of the boys, got a glass of red, and someone taps me on the shoulder, and it was Eddie. And he turned around, he was like, fucking love that. And I was like... What? He's like, fucking love that. <laughs> I mean, what do you mean? He's like, you know. <laughs> you know. And I was like, yeah, well, I wasn't sure, mate. You know what I mean? Because, you know, it could go both ways. But because of my mindset of where I was at, you then don't really think of repercussions of, hang on, mate, I've just told the boss to get here, fucked. Yeah. I didn't mean to get fucked. Bear in mind that I've been burnt with stuff yeah, I say more than what you've so, said. Uh, Although, actually, you've been <laughs> burnt. No, it's more go what here. you've done. No, no, no. It's, <laughs> hey, it's a, that is a brilliant story, but I want to ask you the same question relative to the Lions 2017 and that Wellington game. Was that, uh, <laughs> was that a scenario where you didn't come... I can't remember what they were called, the seven who... Geography six. Geography six. Was that the, the, the you guys wouldn't come off for, the, for those members of the Geography six or was that complete fiction? What? So in that the, thirty-one all game against yeah, Wellington. Yeah, thirty-one all game. Oh, None we all stayed on, didn't we? You, yeah, all you stayed, stayed on. Minutes. You told us on the fuck off then. As and well, there was a you? story that that you guys weren't prepared to let the geography six earn a cap for the Lions because they hadn't earned a cap 
for the Lions? Not quite the way you've said it. What's the, Wig, what's the truth? Roundtree was on the side, Graham Roundtree was on the side doing the subs or whatever. Yeah. And it was a tight game on yeah. it. It was quite tight and there was about 10 minutes to go. Um, and pause in play because it was like, lads, I'm fucking blowing here. We need to like put your foot on the ball, chill. Coley's blowing. <laughs> <laughs> fat, fat Two fat detectives. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, and I looked over and I saw Wig um, telling the boys to warm up and get ready. And I was like, Wig, it's not fucking happening, mate. It's not fucking... Because Wig was my Quinn's coach. So, yeah, we had a good relationship. Um, I said, it's not fucking happening, mate. We're going to fucking see this job off and, and win it. <laughs> we didn't. We, we drew 31 all, and we could have actually done with them coming on as fresh legs, maybe winning it, but... <laughs> You know, you win some, you lose you win some. some you, lose. Oh, you had a blinder in that game. Or you did you play that some? game? Yeah, I did, yeah. yeah you, played, <laughs> you had a blinder in that game. Did you play that game? Were you in that game? <laughs> Shit, you were fantastic. Oh, well, you, uh, uh, what I was going to say, you I told me you to having say a, blinder have a blinder for the Lions, and I couldn't remember if it was that yeah, game or the no, game I did, before. I, I, yeah, I went right in those games, actually. It was all right. Uh, Mid-trail, says producer Cy. Si, betrayal? Which means, uh, yeah, just no, pause. No, no, yeah, betrayal. If you Relax, could, betrayal. No one's accusing you. <laughs> if you could both just hold tight while I tell everyone. Sorry, you haven't got another no, beer, no, Joe, this is where you just... Not, yeah, uh, Murray, Murray actually said, please could he not be asked to get more beers because he's got quite a lot to do tonight. Drought, bind, set. Joe presents the House of Rugby, together with Guinness. Still to come, the boys are going to take on this week's Perfect Pour. But first, though, here's a little something else from Joe that you might like. Have a listen to this. Pause, both of you, while we insert something from TKO. Cheers, Alex. Uh, I'm Chris Lloyd. This is Carl Frampton eating his way slowly towards the middleweight division. Uh, we're going to be here every Thursday talking about the big issues in boxing, getting stuck in uh, with, spe uh, with special guests, behind-the-scenes interviews, um, and, of course, snacks as well. Um, tune in every Thursday, podcast and on YouTube. Thank you very much indeed, Chris. Don't forget, you can still watch and listen to last week's episode where the TKO boys head down to the South Coast and meet Chris Eubank via iTunes and via YouTube. Right, though. Actually, I want to, before we get on to the game this weekend, this is, this is quite a hot potato, but I'm going to throw it at you anyway and see whether you juggle it. Samson Lee, discuss. What would you like me to discuss about him? He's a tight your reflections for Wales and your, Scarlet. Your reflections. Reflections? Yeah. Of the incident that happened in 2016. Uh, we spoke the following year in the um, corresponding fixture. And is he a person who said to you, don't worry about it, it's a storm in a teacup? Or was he irritated by it? Or I don't was think he... he used the word storm in a teacup. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, probably not his... It was more, you know... <clears throat> did he... Sorry, mate, you know, just... So was, don't worry about it. He didn't have an issue. He didn't have an issue on the day. Yeah. Um, and he didn't have an issue with it. Or he, didn't want, he didn't want to get... He's quite a private guy. Yeah. Um, in the whole furore that... Very good. That is the first time you use one of them big words in the right sentence. It's not that big. It's only six letters long. Seven. One nil, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that followed. Um, he, didn't, he didn't get involved in any of it. He didn't want to get involved in any of the hearing... He wasn't interested, he just wanted it to, to go away. Um, what I did was wrong, and I uh, served my two weeks ban and paid my fine. I do think it was blown out of proportion hugely. It's your opinion, James. Well, in fine, I say in my opinion, because I you was there. You played in the game. I was you there. did play in that game. I added my own little bit of spice into the mix as well. What did you do? Well, I'm not going to self I'm not going to incriminate myself. I'm not completely mad, Alex. But I, I lead us to say I was there because, because actually sticking up for me, weren't you? Yeah, because actually it's got my back. I, actually, I stuck up for you in the paper. Do you remember I got them phone calls as well? I did remember I came out. Oh, spoke yeah, a few you months, came remember? out and you said that for me. Yeah, didn't you? I did. I just no, I was there, and obviously things were said to Joe, and Joe said things. I just think that it's. I think a lot of it was like pressure. You know, put pressure from other people. It's just like, I just think, especially the fine you had to pay, I think was just madness. What was the fine? £20,000. But I just think if you're going to draw, I just think it's a very hard situation. I just remember when I first heard it, I was blown away by it. I just felt there was so much pressure and excess thing put on to do something that, that maybe people just got a little bit carried away by. It. What is your relationship with the media? Because uh, this is quite, if I can. At that time, it yeah. wasn't particularly good. Post World, post -world Cup. Bear in mind, around the World Cup, I'd managed to... Insult that peen ass about his... Um... I'd managed to tell pretty much every member of the media, particularly the paper media, um, to fuck off at some point or other. 
Charlie Sow was the one who didn't really like oh, me. Oh, yes, what did he do? Well, he moaned about fucking... He said some of the rivets in the Penny Hill tent Media tent were rusty, and, and there wasn't any. That's right. I remember. But the foie gras and volivine <laughs> were slightly soggy. And I'd well, seen that, and then I went and had a look to see how bad it really was, because the way he described it, it was really bad. It's like a th- he made out it was like a third world operation. Yeah, I was like, right, I'm going to go look at this thing, and I looked over, and there was all these um, bacon rolls in the corner. I thought, I'm fucking having one of them. Don't turn out. I did have one. That was my, my meal. <laughs> I never would have guessed. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, um, but there was no ketchup. So I took a picture of the bacon rolls that had been put on for them and said, you're right, Charlie, it is shit house in here. They don't even put ketchup out. And he didn't really enjoy it. I thought, you know, a bit, a bit of... Yeah, but thingy, I think that's... But he, fa- again, he stuck you in the column for the next three weeks. He did. He? Yeah. he mentioned that he saw me that. in uh, a local coffee shop wamping down some chocolate cake. I went, you fucking Judas. Yes, yeah, lying, that, innit? T- tell it. It was it's fucking carrot to make cake, friends. you twat. <laughs> Wait, it was a salad. Um, I I hate stuff stuff like that. That's what pisses me off about. You were going to say something. You went, oh, well, I might add. I just can't. I was going to... So the classic path that's been walked by many sportsmen before is that for of Poacher Town Gamekeeper. And I... (laughs) I Now that I'm a... uh, But I can remember interviewing you and, and, and... I uh, just sort of getting a sense he really didn't like media full stop. Although but he didn't trust the media. No, I can see that. But now that you've sort of retired from international sport, what are you doing? Well, no, but I'm interested now because you, what you were saying about your, the, the path of questioning was you didn't like the media, but but you're doing loads more stuff now. Yeah, and I think and, you are available for selection for anybody. Yeah, yeah but also <laughs> no, no, but also I've always thought you had a very funny personality. When you applied yourself and were interested, Lovely pair and people of always go, Joe Marler's so funny, blah, blah, blah. Such pleasant words. You, you now, you're now doing more, and I think it's good. Because it'd be a Again, waste if you didn't. You're quite you good experience at things, don't you? You go through experiences, you know? Yep. Lad, bits. <laughs> yeah. Bits. You've experienced absolutely oh. nothing. You know Joe's best, best story is, right, best shagging story. Met a bird, right? Settled down, got married. <laughs> <laughs> what I love about that Sorry. is your face. You're going, yeah, what yeah. the? That's I it. Went, well, there are no shaggy. That's what I mean. So that's, what that is, is very good. That's his one and only that story. That, Honestly, it's real short lived. I think that's really nice. Yeah, it's brilliant. What? But it's just a lovely, love, it's love like same, story. Oh, it's the same story with me and Chloe. Producer Cy. Cy, Cy, Cy nah. we can fucking hear you. <laughs> um, <laughs> just because we haven't got an earpiece, mate, it's it's fine. So mm. I want to also talk about this moment. In fact, I'd quite like you to both sign it, and maybe we'll auction it off. We've got a lovely sure, photograph actually. here of Haskell. No, there's that very one, angry. There's that one on Instagram that's funnier. What with, with Marcus Smith? Oh my god, <laughs> his face. Marcus Smith's like in the original pictures. He's here, yeah, and you just see him like. He's fucking scared. He is scared shitless. Yeah. Looking up at it like... Yeah. I think most people a, would be. There's a tag underneath, Sam, when... Um, <laughs> when you, was it? Adult rugby. Adult rugby. <laughs> when you, your first adult rugby game, the face you pull, and he's like... <laughs> he's terrified. What did... Because you hugged afterwards. What did you say to him? I said, I'm really sorry, I lost my head. And he went, you did. And I went, yeah. But and ever, you said... He, just laughed. he said, I got it. One I nil. said one nil. One nil. <laughs> That's what he says every time he does shit. It's one nil, so thank irritating. you. Well played. But I brought this. I brought this with me. What for? Well, in case you rip it off later. <laughs> <laughs> there oh, we are. The, does it look good? It's the it last does. time I wore it. Is that really? Did you chuck it away afterwards? Yeah, I did, yeah, because he pulled it off the prick. <laughs> did you break it? Well, he probably did. <laughs> well, I can't. I, I'm looking at myself in the reflection. It's not on straight. It's actually very odd seeing people wearing those in well, everyday life. Honestly, what was going through your mind in that? <laughs> because it was very right. brilliant. <laughs> so, so just so quickly. <laughs> so good. Right, we, I'm we, we, I'm, I'm we are, being I know, choked I know, out. I know, I know. I'm and go, laugh, ah, I know. Let's <laughs> get off me. Please, this is fucking... I can't believe you lost it. I know, so I know. You're a pro, picture. mate. You're a fucking pro. I never do lose it, do I? You never lose it. I you're fucking... You're always the one getting other boys. Yeah. You're you're on it. Yeah. You know, with bits, gags and all that lot. <laughs> yeah. Does that make it the ultimate triumph as a result? I'm I t- am extremely proud. This is one of the proudest moments that I have been involved in on, on a rugby on field. A rugby field. I, I, I would say that there was, there was, this has been building for a couple of years. And I want to give the, 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 the context behind it. When I was captain, <laughs> uh, I've oh. never forgiven you for this because this really <laughs> fucked me off. When I was captain, right, of um, Wasp, before I got fired for unceremoniously. Um, Why were you fired? I don't know. 
No oh, reasons. I, I vaguely do, actually. It was to do with a boat trip that I had nothing to fucking do with. But anyway. Oh, hang on. You were fired, as in fired as captain or fired from the club? Oh, I was eventually fired from the club, but I was, I was, I was, I didn't get oh, captain. Oh, you got sacked off as captain because of a boat trip. Why am I putting this? It's literally going further around my head. Who are you looking at when <laughs> you're doing I'm looking at myself, that. and it's not working. Just for right. our, our listeners, yeah. Hask is wearing the red scrum cap that Joe ripped look, off. Look, and then, just the ear holes are gone where he grabbed it. And then squirted his water out. You were a little yellow carded, weren't you? Yeah, right. So you know the red would have been the ultimate. Let me cover If you've got him sent off. I'll explain. So, Wasps played Harlequins. I was captain. J.P. Doyle was referee. This was right. when I was also this captain. This is when Marla was Queens. also captain, right? One Crazy season. days. One season. Yeah. Crazy. Uh, half a season. Joe has a bit of a laissez-faire attitude to most life. things, right? Life. life. So, we're out in the field. And every time I went to speak to J.P. Doyle, <laughs> Joe would come out of nowhere going, well, Hass, you know, you, haven't done, you know, and just get in, in my face. And then he would be abusing J.P., so much so that when I went to speak to JP, he went, no, nope, I'm not speaking to you, right? And the whole game, Joe was speaking to him and he wouldn't let me talk to him about anything. He kept sending me away like a naughty schoolboy. And under the posts, uh, someone had given a penalty away and Joe came over and went, come on, Hass, all your teammates are cheating, mate. You've got to sort it out. And I was honestly like this. Fuck. And I didn't talk to him. I just pretended he wasn't there. But what I didn't get was, oh, obviously I didn't get captaincy. Um, <laughs> but what I didn't get was that you obviously approach captaincy differently. Yeah. I thought I could have a chat with you and yeah. I'd get some chat back. That's what, you know, I just talked to you as a bloke. and we're Bad enough. Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Keep going. Don't ever say that again. Why are you staying in character of Captain Hask? Yeah. Why? Why didn't you just be Hask for a minute? That's what I couldn't. I was uh, like, Hask, let's talk. Because I'm you were like, no, I, I can't be seen yeah, to laugh or think in front of my soldiers and blah, <laughs> Run! Yeah, that was essentially. I, I love how you were getting captaincy tips from Joe Marlon. <laughs> I know uh, it's bizarre, isn't it? But what has the world come to? It was more because you know I'm a serious <laughs> operator, smooth operator. No, anyway, you no, know that's a serious operator. No, you know that. You know that. Like when it comes, that's the one thing that people always get really confused about. Sorry, did you just say I'm a, I'm a serious operator? Hmm. Just look at yourself on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Brent, scrum cap. I'm, I'm operator. a serious operator. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, Norwich Radio. No, leave it on, leave it on, leave it on. It completes the look. Right, so basically, <laughs> what have we come to? I'm really sorry to involve you in this fucking shambles. Um, no, I've learned some new words. No, so essentially... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! What has happened to this show? <laughs> no, just, I, just so you know, no, you, mo- you won that game. Yes, I know, I know. We had, uh, no, seven, didn't. We had seven attempts at goal in front of the post, yeah? No, no, you beat us. No. When? That time, it was one of... You had a comeback. You came back... Every time you beat us, you beat us by two points. Yeah, it was fucking a comeback did. Game. Yeah. No, I didn't. You did. You did. I promise you. Oh, I, it, so basically, what happens is all the wheels came eyebrows? off. Eyebrows? Well, no, I don't want to bet that. Oh, okay, fine. Um, no, but the one thing everyone always says to me is, oh, well, you joke around, you do stuff, but when you're... When I cross the yeah, white when you're on rugby, you're, you're, you're rugby, rugby yeah. You're rugby hat. So I couldn't... I wouldn't... I just couldn't deal with it. I was like, I'm trying to be no, no, serious. No, no, you no. were being, being annoying. Like you said, people don't get that about you, do they? No. They think, because you're everywhere... On every single channel, on every single show, yeah. they think that you don't take rugby seriously, well, actually, which is unfair. Well, actually, I bloody because do. he does. He's one of the m- most professional people I know. Um, oh, don't stop there. You well, I didn't gone, want to, what else to say. What else did you want me to oh, say? Hardworking, dedicated, lovely, responsible, funny. You've said it all for me. There um, you go, James then, Haskell. But then cue this game. I hadn't played in six weeks. Eddie was there. Eddie was there. I hadn't played in six weeks. I came on the field. Eddie! Right, Joe was in one of his silly moods. I'm coming on! <laughs> Eddie, I'm coming on now! Uh, he was in one of his silly moods, and uh, he pulled my scrum cap. I was like, right, fucking hell. He's such a Norse. Right? And he was, like, laughing and pushing. And, like, no, he, so what, yeah, but I pulled your scrum cap off, and you'd lost the plot or whatever, but I'd managed to... I know, I'd seen it, yeah. So you that's put, what they didn't see. I took his scrum cap and then walked off to the waters and then lobbed it. Lobbed it over there so he'd had to walk past us. And what people, what other people didn't see as well, and he should be getting a yeah, retrospective yellow card for it, is that Danny Care did it before me. As well as after. Squirted him before yeah. me. So then Hask come fucking trotting along like that and I was like, he's fucking livid. I'm going <laughs> to... He needs to cool down this one. He needs to fucking see I've got down. to where I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> and then... <laughs> yeah, yeah, but... Yeah. But you know what the thing was? Is that Joe, the first carry or something like that, 
what you don't see is like Joe, you'll 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 get tackled by Joe. He'll he'll get up because he hits you hard. He'll like tread on your foot, <laughs> hold you down, push you over. And then he'll do it with a smile on his face. He does it in training all the time. Like he, he, you know, you always know you get, if he's in a silly mood, you, you, you're done. Never done that before. He <laughs> does it every session. So I then was like, right, I've lost this. And I thought, I don't want to hit Joe because obviously, A, I get in trouble. B, I, he's a mate. So I'm going to give him the Vulcan death grip. So I just thought that would be just enough because I can't get in trouble for choking someone out. There's no rule in the book about that part. So angry. And I was so angry. <clears throat> and I then, don't think the hand behind the neck was necessary, mate. No, because I wanted to clamp you in because yeah, you've got a big neck. It, yeah, it's still... You've done a lot of legs. very aggressive. You've got a lot of ne neck weight, so I can't really get my hand around it. I've got skew fingers, as we know. So then as I was walking off, he, he squirted the water. Danny Care did me with the water. And I looked at Danny, I thought it'd be like hitting a child. I was like, he, I, like I really like Danny as well. I've known Danny longer than I've known... Uh, Show and I thought to myself, I can't do it. And so everyone's we'll constantly giving a shit ever since, as if I'm gonna, as if we weren't mates. So I basically went up to Joe afterwards. I was laughing. Go, you've absolutely done me there. I had no, I had no intentions to get you yellow card. No, no, I that thought you were get yellow card come on. too. On. Just give me yellow card. As just if I thought, as it that is bonus. not a yellow card offence. Come on, mate. He strangled me. We've had a bit of a tussle, and you know, but look that's... at Danny in the background. <laughs> I mean, he's like coming Danny? from miles away. <laughs> what the fuck is going well, on there? What? <laughs> oh, you, but did, did, did you let yourself down? No. You did again? Yeah. What should Same we thing, do? Same thing? Or would you do something? A hundred fucking percent. Or would you do something a bit more meaningful? Oi, up at the, how no, would you, no, how no, would you no, play no, that second no, no, Fortress Stoop. <laughs> the Stoop, yeah. A couple of months time. Fine, we'll be there. You, you did quite a lot of whinging to the referee. You can't do that, yeah, referee. Yeah, I know, I know. It. Because it's quite water in my face. Because the point is that all you want as a player is consistency. I'm like, hold on a minute. What, what, he, he's a specialist at it. He's got a black belt in being a pain in the ass. Yeah, but have you ever looked back at that incident and gone and listened to yourself yeah. go, Sir, he pulled my scrub cap <laughs> off and he squirted water in my face and you're not allowed to do that. Yeah. Have you not gone to yourself? Not what sure I landed many blows. No, that, no, because what? Cause he what, squirted water yeah, in my yeah, face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because what, what do you mean? I haven't chucked a load of fucking acid. Yeah, yeah, over yeah. Yeah, yeah but you know, I want in real terms. You go horror that fucking bloke with the mohawk, the prick, throwing water in my face. He's wound me up. He's made me look like a dickhead. I've strangled him. Fucking yellow card him. You can't say that to a referee. So you've got to go, sir. Who's done this and this? And people go, oh, we squirted water. I go, listen, <laughs> this shit prick has fucking thrown water in my face. He's mugged me off. I'll rip his eyes out. Oh, but I didn't. You're saying it now. Yeah, fucking yeah. Tough guy. Yeah, Mr. Big Time. Go on. But no, so, but then everyone says you lost it. I was like, I didn't. I didn't throw any punches. You got yellow like, carded and left the yeah, field. But, yeah, but that, makes it. It, that almost makes it worse. <laughs> I lost the battle. I know what it's like to oh, lose yeah. control, and that was a loss oh, yeah, I lost the battle, control. but not the war, pal. We still going, are we? Oh, Without a shadow of a doubt, watch All your right. back. I love how you know he off air. He thought we were going to stitch him up on this show. The whole point we invited him on was for me to get retribution, and he was preempting throwing a pint in my face. <laughs> <laughs> I told him before you got yeah, here, he said, I'm going to do a pint over him, mate. What kind of bloke are we dealing with here? What? Uh, you know, switched on <laughs> jazz fingers. <laughs> Wales, Wales England this weekend. Yeah, yeah, Go massive on. game. Any thoughts? Big game, mm -hmm. massive game, it's huge. Any cliches you want to throw out to the well, public? Well, game of two halves. Front up, physicality. Whichever yeah. team dominates. Game right. line will England by fifteen. Do you think? Yeah. Um, memories of playing at the now Prince Party X Millennium. Oh, I'll tell you what, with that, oh, that was, was 2013 we got lost in the Grand Slam? Yeah, 30 points yeah. three. Right, well, that was the fucking balls up because I got five minutes my 50th cap. Right, <laughs> right it's at always the end. about that. Lawrence had it's came off the bench him. for his 50th cap as well. So similarities oh. there. Yeah, he probably got longer fucking than five love. minutes. He probably scored a try. So when Possibly. we got to uh, our post match years ago, Chris Robshaw, when he got his very first cap in Argentina, we told him that if he went up on stage and sung a song, we'd all join him up there for his first cap. So he got oh. up there and he went, he went, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I'd just like to call out the rest of the England team. You I don't need to put a voice on. Oh. You're the same. Oh, fine, okay. Poshness. Mm. Mm. Not really, mate. Not Robbo's really. like. Where'd you go to school? I uh, went to Wellington. Yeah, where did Robbo go to school? Millfield. Okay, slightly different. Yeah, Still Robbo 50 does grand sound, a year. Carry on. Yeah, but Robbo does sound more posh than I am. No. He's moving in a higher circle. I mean, to you, Oh, everything. yeah, he moves in a higher I circle. Yeah, yeah, Chris yeah, would not yeah. Pill. You try and ITV sound yeah, Chris is more, on a much more high-end pro, like high end. High end version yeah. of me. 47th best man, best dressed man. GQ. Yeah. Smells good. Yeah, it looks good. I smell good. Um, anyway, so so basically, so I can hear him go perfect four. I, I smell good. <laughs> yeah. Um, Is so he anyway, so Robert was sex panther. So Robert get, gets up and goes, right, lads, we've got to, we're going to sing "Build Me Up Buttercup." 
So it's bail me up bar to cut, baby, will you let me down? And nobody came up, right? <laughs> and the brass band started joining in. <laughs> and there's all these dignitaries in our He was like, why do you bail me up, bail me up, right? What? We all mugged him off. <laughs> Robbo waited until we'd lost a fucking grand slam game. I got five minutes off the bench, my 50th cap. Everybody is in fucking hell. Daggers, right? And then Robbo gets up on stage and goes, right, lads, very special day. Uh, James House has made his 50th and he'd like to come up and sing. And I, and, I got, and I literally looked at him and I was like, are you fucking serious, Robbo? And he went, you waited up. that long. He waited that bed. long, right? Calculated. Be oh, yeah, best, a dish best served cold. Got up. And I looked around and there was literally like, uh, Lancaster was like laser eyeing me. Everyone was like that. Everyone was on suicide watch. And I just started singing, you never close your eyes. Right, With your back to the stage? Yeah, no, yeah. Back and, to the yeah, and I turned around. Did and you give it oh, the... No, I, went, I, went, I went, don't worry, I've got this. You never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. And I started serenading these big bits of kit from like the... the, the <laughs> big bits of kit from yeah, like some... Nice. Some, 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 uh, uh, yeah, some RFU yeah, yeah. or WRU, whatever. Uh, getting really into it, right? And... All the Welsh boys started singing and dancing along. All the English boys were like sort of joining in. The rest of the lads were like, ah, what are you doing? I went for the full thing, serenade, everyone giving baby. it the full body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But baby, you know it. What? You've lost <laughs> that love and feel it. Honestly, I, mean, and I, I literally brought the house down, but pff, that was it. It was Sorry, game over, what, wasn't it? That last bit you said. Brought the house down? Yeah. Um, what about. You know I did. You know, you know what I about 2012, South Africa? Were you on that tour? Yeah, of course I was. Well, sorry for not realising it was my first tour and you don't really talk to people as... You know, you know, so I do. <laughs> yeah. What anyway, did you sing on the That was similar to um, when we'd got up and done our songs, which I was more nervous about... Than playing. Than actually playing. What I did you say? shitting myself to the, uh, Adele, someone like you. Oh. Smashed it. i never forget my first song on no, the bus. No, hang on, it's not your story, right. you've just said one. All right. We have this give someone regularly. else. What about then on the same bus journey? I was sat next to Johnny May, and I, Johnny, like you know, we've got a bit of a long trip. It'd be really good for morale if you got up and did Ice Ice Baby because he knows it word for word. I was like, be great for morale. He's like, yeah, but I haven't got a cap, Joe. I haven't been capped. Like I was like, they won't care, mate. You fucking get up there. You, it's entertaining the crowd. You know it word for word. He was like, oh, I'm not sure, Joe. I'm not sure. I was like, fucking do it, mate. It'd be brilliant. Boys will love you. It's a great way. You came on tour late. A great way to think. He was like, yeah, you're right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I'm going to do it. Gets up. Everyone's a bit, goes a bit quiet. Like, what the fuck is this doing? What's he doing? And he starts going. Dun, 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 And I'm there. Like, oh, fucking hell, I've made him do it. I've actually fucking made it. I, I sit down. <laughs> fucking sit down. All I'm hearing from the back, Toby Flood, you lot. Yeah. Where's your fucking cat? <laughs> sit down. You're not welcome here. Sit down now, you fucking prick. And he, I was like, Johnny, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Sit keep, through. Sit back down. He finished it, and all all the abuse he got, and he was sat there like this. He was like, Oh, you said it would be good. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like. Sorry, mate, I didn't see that happening. <laughs> you had quite a good relationship with Johnny, then, didn't you? Two yeah, P we did. Yeah, we got from Mikuel, we, we, um, Did you run with him? We came through age groups together. You stole his shoe and gave him foot problems, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 stole, <laughs> you, stole, you stole his insert to his shoe and gave him a foot problem, didn't you? You fucking Judas. You did, didn't you? Yeah, I was responsible for stealing his trainer, one of his trainers. Orthotics. On, uh, orthotics. Um... <laughs> He blames me for having fasciitis or something. Yeah, he did. He got, he got, was it, yeah, he's something, uh, yeah, what is some fasciitis thing with the bottom of the foot? He got, yeah, but only because he didn't go and get a new orthotic for like four months. So it's your own fault. Right. Time for this week's Guinness Perfect Pool. Our weekly test in 119 and a half seconds because that is how long it takes to purr the pool, pour the perfect pint. Mm, purr it. Maybe. Takes to purr the pool, pool, pool pint. Uh, of Guinness. James is absolutely flying with your 15s, it says here on the page. I'm not sure I could agree with that, but we'll go with it. He's even bothering to read the WhatsApp group to find out what the subject is. Have you done that this week? <clears throat> no, you haven't. I'm really sorry. And Are last week, he actually to? prepared to... Uh, but he actually prepared... Oh, hello. And last week, he actually prepared before the show. Have you done it this week? No. It's not all plain sailing. Speaking of last week, we got a limerick from one of our dear listeners, Tim, about exactly what happens during this section. Would you like me to read it? Yes, please. 
the cultured and suave Alex Payne did his utmost. That, get off your phone. Get off. Is that what, what he said? Are you doing? No, I'm just googling American actors, Hollywood actors. Relax. The cultured and suave. Do you have the American? Well, Hollywood. Hollywood. No, they don't have to be. They'd have to have appeared. Oh, in not Hollywood. Where do you live? Heathfield. 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 Actors. Tom Baker. Really. Mm. The cultured and suave Alex Payne did his utmost, though sadly in vain, to bring class and decorum to the perfect poor forum, but Hass took the piss yet again. That's unbelievable. Marks out of ten? I'd give that a ten. Well done, Tim. I'm looking forward to this week's contributions from Limerick. It sounds a lot like you're reading a script. Yeah, yeah but we're allowed to do that. Oh. It's a sort of... Can it's I a sort of one? make it up as you go kind one? of thing. No. Okay. Joe, as our guest this week, would you like to go first with your Hollywood 8? Uh, you said it was 15. Well, it was, but you said you've only picked 8 of the 15. When did I say that? At the start of the show. Was one that on air? One and a half pints ago. Was that... Yeah. Okay, fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got a 15, give us a 15. Well, I've, I've well ask. I'm just trying to give James enough time to be able to... <coughs> right, here we go. <clears throat> What's the theme? Hollywood act... Hollywood Actors 15. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't hear you say that, so I needed the audience. I was speaking on their behalf. Okay. Michael, number one. Yes. Loose head prop. Michael Clark Duncan. I've no idea who that is. Yeah. The prison drama with Tom Hanks, which is what? Green Mile? Yes. Oh. Ginormous. You know, the bloke. Yes. You know. That's a very He's good start. He's dead, John, isn't he? What? what? Oh, yeah, he, he dead? did. He did die. Fuck off. Yeah. Yeah. Joe, again, we're trying to keep this... Sorry, this is a family Sorry show. mate. Welcome to our younger viewers. Lovely to have you with us. Yeah, He's thanks. dead. Yeah. yeah well, we can't play... This is, yeah, but this isn't a real Dead team. or alive. Yeah, dead or alive. Right. We're not going to select them. We're okay, not, it's not an actual tournament. So, John that. Coffey at one. Yes. Uh, two, I've got two options. No, you can only pick one. Yeah, well, that's what we're going to help. Danny DeVito. Small. Or Mel Gibson from Braveheart. It's more of a Scott Brits type hooker. Who? Mel Gibson from Braveheart. No, no, but I, I'm talking for his arrows because in Braveheart, he lobs that stone at Hamish's head. Yes, he does. So it's like, fuck, he's good at throwing. Number three, John Candy. Also dead. Also oh, dead. fucking hell. Is he? Yeah. yeah. Rest Sadly. in peace, John. Uh, he was the cool runnings coach. Or Adam Fogarty. Do you John. know him? No. No. Gorgeous George. Oh, Yeah. You know, fucking... Oh, yeah. Gorgeous from, George. From, um, fucking... But, Lockstock. But he was going to be an option, but then I realised... He's dead as he's well. He's got... Is he actually? I don't actually know. No, he's got a glass jaw, so he's not actually going to make the cut. True. Uh, it seems like you two aren't actually bothered no. by Harley. <laughs> no, no, no. I've been I doing mine. Fucking time. Doing his home you mine. asked me to do I'm one doing thing. Mine. I've got one I spent a lot of fucking time doing this, and it's hard. Keep going. Half the your team's dead. You... Half your team's dead. You've said it doesn't matter. We're not selecting right, him right, in your right. posh, posh voice. Number four, James Cromwell. From? He's six foot seven. Yeah. Oh, fuck. You're the lead in this. You're meant to know, know your I, shit. I, I, yeah, I do. James Cromwell is the father from, from Babe. Believe it or not, would you think he was six foot seven? No. No. But I'm also not sure I'd stick him in my 15. Well, it's not your fucking 15. A 15. He's 79 years old. Irrelevant. Five. <laughs> I'm having Richard Keel. Kiel. Jaws. Nailed it. Lovely. Yeah. Seven foot two. We've got a great Love line that. out option here. Yeah, dead. Sadly. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> You've killed everybody. <laughs> yeah. um, <clears throat> number six, Mark Wahlberg. Good. I like that. From, but when he was in, um, Mark, um, uh, you know, Boogie that. Nights. No. No? When he was in um, that one about the gym with The Rock. Oh, I didn't like that movie. No, no, but when he was in it. Oh, yeah, fine. About, oh, fuck off. <laughs> uh, seven, Dolph Lundgren. Grin. Very big Lundgren. for a seven. I'm looking at a sort of Peter Steff toy type character. I'm looking for a big pack here. Okay, good. Yeah, I like that. Um, he was Ivan Drago. Yes, I know that. Yeah. Oh, right. So you know him, but you don't know the farmer from Babe. Fun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah That is, yeah, fun. Yeah, get fucked. Number eight, The Rock. He's 61, is it? Okay, good, yep. Yeah. Fine. Do you want me to do my 9 to 14? Yes, Because I haven't got a 15. I've got a coach. Uh, number 9, I've got three options. Peter Dinklage. Oh, Game of Thrones. Correct. Yeah. We're sticking with the stereotypes of rugby here. You know, yeah. big, fat man in the pack. That's very Number 9, tiny. Or Joe Pesci. Pesci. Love that. Pesci would be great. Pesci. Great, great work. Yeah, yeah, gobbing yeah. off. He's actually nails. That's very good. Yeah. yeah. 
That was. A- is he in here? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, is he in here? What? Should- come out, Joe. Come out. Funny, I, funny I, how. I do do good. I do do good. Um. Uh, <laughs> funny. Do, do, is he here, Joe? Oh, oh, Joe, you, will oh, you come out, please? Oh, you know how good my Mandela is. Number ten, Patrick Stewart. Why? Because as Professor X, although he's in a chair, he can control things with his mind. So he's controlling the game. Mm. And also when he was in extras, he could control when uh, clothes fell off of people. So he's got mind. <laughs> <That's> the <best. laughs> he's the best character. I've got, this, I've got this moment, you know, I've got this <laughs> script actually I'm writing. Well, what, what's it about? <laughs> well, actually, you know, I, I see this lady walking down the street and then, boom, her clothes fall off. Very good. Anyway. It's genius. 11. Steve Buscemi. Yeah. Buscemi? Small. Buscemi, Buscemi yeah. Buscemi, yeah. yeah. Uh, Mainly because I likened my 11 to Johnny May, and he's as close a Hollywood yeah. actor as you're going to get. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Crazy. Are you going to fucking can you dial join in? Yeah, I, I, I've just team. finished my team. i finished my team. Sorry. Right. I thought we were going to bounce off each other. Yeah, we're trying oh, to. I'm really sorry. I can only apologise. T- t- number sorry. 12, I'm having Vinnie Jones in. Strong. Direct. Just Ball carrier. Gain line. Don't care about ability. Just want someone to bang someone. Hard. Okay. 13, Jason Statham, but only when he was in Crank, because he's got that heart thing where he's... I think Transport will be quite good. What's that about? <laughs> <laughs> when he's in Transport, the movie, when he's like a hitman slash like getaway driver. Has he got a fast heart and makes him go really quick? Yeah, he's very good at it. Yeah, high, de- high, high decisions, very fast. Either of them, then. Uh, 14, Tom Hanks, but only when he was in Forrest Gump, because he can run loads. You've legit... This is probably the best preparation. Yeah, 15 blank. I haven't got a fucking clue. I actually did put Chris Hemsworth when he played Thor because he's got safe hands because he always has to catch the hammer back. So yeah. I go like that, and what happens next? Comes back to you. Yeah, you go... Boom. He's... he's I, I mean... Coach. I'm, oh, Robin yeah, Williams. Oh, from Goodwill Hunting. One of my favourite men. Yeah, he's ever. dead as well. Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire. Hello. Good morning, Vietnam. Good morning, Vietnam. Brilliant. Just say the title. I'll go with first uh, John Goodman. Don't rush it. No, you are. Can I just say, I'm really disappointed. Oh, listen. Joe's done so much preparation. That's the most professional preparation we've ever had for this. I thought he did really well. He, He knew everything. He doesn't get out a lot. He's been in the car for four hours. Going back. Well, you've had two hours done. Bits. (laughs) He does bits. Your anti bits. You're doing zero bits. Make Um, it good. Okay, John Goodman Uh, from Roseanne. Massive fat bloke. Yeah, I know he is. Yeah, Yeah. no, Coyote Ugly. Yeah, yeah, Coyote Ugly. Lot of scrum depth on that. Right, Dudley Moore. Right, Uh, financing to help the team. Small, you know, (laughs) no, (laughs) knows how to get there from from. um, I know who Dudley Moore is. What don't film? listen. If you don't sort your from attitude, Bond. I'll address Joe. He's the not, Bond. No, not Dudley, no, no, Dudley Moore's um, from Arthur. Ten. He's a. Uh, no, he's like a. Uh, no, that's, that's uh, Roger, Roger Moore. Moore. <laughs> <laughs> you're, a, you're a simpleton. Um, Kevin James, uh, Paul Blart, Mall Cop. He's a big oh, fat yeah, comedian. Strong. Yeah, 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 strong. Yeah, good. Uh, second row, Clint quite Eastwood. Fat. Very Clint good. Eastwood, yes. dirty Harry, Clint Eastwood. Yeah, how tall right, is he? Sort of a Martin Johnson esque type character. Harrison Ford. Yes. Um, you know, fugitive Thought, days, yes. like powerful. Your fugitive's name is Dr. Richard Kimball. Go get him. <laughs> I want every in-house, out-house, dog-house search from here in a four-mile radius. You um, a big Harrison Ford fan? Yeah. yeah. No, I just like that. Well, film. he's a massive That's Bath good. fan, and turns out he's a massive Harrison Ford fan. Um, Collecting them. Robert Downey <coughs> Jr. Sorry, uh, Robert Downey Jr. at se- uh, seven. Why? Okay. Uh, I and Iron Man, just great over the ball, gr- very fast, powerful, aggressive. Don't remember him being over the ball <laughs> in Iron Man. <laughs> well, but you probably watched the you didn't watch the, the director's cut version. Oh. You probably got one of them pirate DVDs, didn't you? One of your mates sold it to you Brilliant. down the market. Yeah. Um, Matt Damon. From Matt uh, Damon. From uh, fucking um, Matt Damon. America. Uh, fuck America. What's no, it called? No, no, America. Fuck, team fuck America. Matt fuck Damon. Yeah, yeah, Team America. Yeah. Team America but but yeah. Matt Damon's from um, Victus. No, the, f- the movie's where he kills Born Identity. Yes, Born oh, yeah, Identity. Good. Right, The Rock at number eight. Yeah. Nicked it, but that's fine. Right, Al Pacino at nine. Yeah. Right, mm. Robert De Niro at 10, pulling the strings. Nine and 10 combination. Everyone loves them. That's Loved true. him in the movie Heat. Very Great good. Great decision making from both of them. And right. Godfathers. Liam Neeson, eh, Crash eh. Ball 12. You are digging trenches. Right. 
Um, number 13, shit. Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. Why? Yeah, that's good. Uh, powerful, great, great crash ball. Uh, <laughs> Showman, greatest Great showman. showman, like that. Yeah, performance. Um, da, 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 right, da, da, number eleven, Ryan da, da, Reynolds from Deadpool. No, no, let him go on. Keep Ryan going. Reynolds, uh, good speed. Um, <laughs> Will Smith, fourteen. Why? Strong. Because he's fast. Fresh Prince. How do you know he's fast? Because he was fast with the ladies in Fresh Prince. I thought that's why he was always, you know, operating, doing deals. Okay. So he's fast on it. Hey, hey. Doing bits. Doing bits. Kevin Spacey at 15 because no one ever got oh, past for him. For fuck's oh, sake. God. It's always your 15. It's always your 15. Russell Crowe on my loose head. Awful. Awful. Why? Well, you've got to explain your like reasons. Like a French Papa on board. <laughs> <laughs> ah, John, Belu hey, beer. John Belushi at two. Lovely. Good, John yeah. Belushi. Animal House. Dirty, reckless. Kind of guy you need on a team. Arnold Schwarzenegger at three. Like a sort of strong I Arnie. three. How do we forget Arnie? Well, I did originally have him as my 12, but I fucked him off. No, he's not quick enough for 12. He's definitely a strong Sheridan type three. Dolph Lundgren in Sheridan the second Sheridan played one. Yeah, he could play both sides. No, he couldn't. Dolph Lundgren at four. Bionic. One or two problems with the drug testers, but still worth picking. Mm. Give him a second chance. Who hasn't? With John Wayne at five. Oh. oh. He's dead. Yeah, he is, but he was fucking hard in his time. Who's dead? John Only because he had a gun. He's like my column is. Matt Damon at six. Matt Damon! Matt Damon knows the role from Invictus. And he also played rugby in which other film? That Bollywood one, where they all jump on each other oh. and crack their nuts. Please, no. can no. some of our viewers no. please watch that Bollywood movie about rugby? <laughs> 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 That's what you see every week in the Premiership. <laughs> he played it in The Departed. He played a rugby player yeah, in The Departed? Did. Eyebrows. What? Oh, if you get it wrong, you shave your eyebrow off. Okay. Are you, no, are you putting your eyebrows on it? Just say eyebrow. Be careful. Yeah, I will. No, I won't. He'll have no eyebrows. Steven idea. Seagal. Steven Seagal at seven. Oh, how do we forget Steven how Seagal? Good would that, how good would he be at Mate, the breakdown? He'd be unbelievable. The Chop Rock him. at eight, who gets the hat trick. So he is. We'd like to hear from him next week. If the Rock we had Annika listening. Rice, we didn't have Scarlett Johansson. He likes we'd, his rugby, The Rock. We'd like The Rock hey, to join us. Hey, I'm here in the Iron Paradise, man, and I just want to tell you go get it. Fucking legend. I've gone that? Tom Cruise at nine. Hustle, bustle. <laughs> yeah, great. Steve McQueen at ten. Oh, lovely. King of Cool. Don't know who that is. Yes, you do. You the Great Escape the and Bullet. Bullet. Two films I haven't seen. Still don't know who You it haven't is. seen The Great Escape? No. Go home and watch it now. No. Uh, watch it on, uh, on the way home in your, car, your long journey. I've got a centre combination of Bradley Cooper as like a second distributor, which I quite like, mm. with Leonardo DiCaprio at 13. Yeah, I can see that. And I've got a back three of Zac Efron... Who's my sort of Nolsey type bit character? Small, yeah. Yeah, but like no, powerful, compact. Okay. There's with, nothing, mate. With Jamie Foxx on my right wing. Have you seen and Brad Pitt at fifteen? Have you seen Zac Efron in High School Musical? No. In High School Musical, you get to know him as an actual. You get through to him. You get to know him as a bloke, and he's weak, mentally and physically. But he'd be quite French. I'd quite like him as a. Sort and he likes of a bit of the old. So whether he turns up, with he likes eating food. I think my team wins. What was he, 15? Uh, Brad Pitt. Really composed. Very confident of the bat. Hits lovely lines. Siege gun boot. Covers everything that comes through. And also, if people make a break, he's so good looking that they just throw the ball on the floor. Ah, oh, do you like Dax? Yeah. Just being told by Si to finish it there. Yeah, go on, mate. Thoughts on this week's show? Um, we've talked about absolutely no rugby. I, th I do not envy the editor. No. We've also together. done two hours for a one-hour show. Uh, have we? Yeah, I think so. I have, I've really Mark. enjoyed it. <sighs> Thank you for coming on. Mark's out of ten? For the show? For the show, for I've your performance. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Um, Will you come I back? I enjoy your company. I enjoy your company. Uh, I think we should go out. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I don't, oh, think, oh, I don't oh, think we should. Oh, let's do some bits. No, absolutely not. I've got to get home. It's later than that. You, you, cause the problem is all that stop, start, fast, go thing you do. It's taking us two hours. I know. I need light. Just answer the question first yeah, time but I've round. I've got like, I've got it now. Let's Energy. go. Let's go, lads. Other bits to tell you about. We're a YouTube show and a podcast. Don't forget to download. Please do leave us a review. Uh, also check into TK with Carl Frampton. Boys don't cry is back. You going to have a little go on that? Yeah, I think so, yeah. They do. Uh, that's with Russell Kane. They do. Real men cry. We've also got a House of Rugby Facebook group as well. Are you on Facebook? Yes. James Haskell. Brilliant. J -H -H -F. Original, that. Yeah, find it. I've got Please a join the conversation James there Haskell, if you are so inclined. Thank you, James Haskell. Thank you, Joe Marlowe. I think this week we've added Curious to our list mm. of emotions and 
podcast journeys. I bet we get loads of messages about why we didn't talk about rugby in the England Wales game. We Just did. England by fifteen. James. Yeah, what he said. Okay. Genuine. Yeah. Be your own man. Do you well, I'm the same. That's what I thought before coming on the show. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. Good luck to England. Good luck to all the teams taking part this weekend. Goodbye for now. You've been watching the House of Rugby on Joe. Together with Guinness. Drink responsibly. Visit drinkaware.co.uk for the facts.